In today's episode of reaction videos, we are going to re In today's episode of reaction videos, we are going to be reacting to all-time tennis star Serena Williams. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Bahar and I'm excited about sharing my knowledge and personal experiences about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you too can join our community. To be completely honest, I'm not a big tennis fan, but I don't think there's anyone that hasn't heard of Serena Williams, so let's react to her routine. Hey Vogue, it's Serena Williams. I'm gonna walk you through my everyday face regime, including a little makeup. Mm. So I have on my under eye mask on. I'm just gonna take them off because Lord knows I need moisture under my eyes. I hear it's hereditary, so thank you, Mom. First thing I start out with is a light mask. It soothes your skin. So in case you have like inflammation or something, it like kind of just calms everything down. Now I'm gonna wash my face. Barbara Sturm is amazing. I like how she makes things for darker skin tones. I'll usually do two or three pumps. I started having a skincare routine like when I was a teenager. Did you know when you're a teenager, you start getting pimples. So I needed to make sure that my skin was pretty clear. And I was always in front of a camera because I was always playing tennis in some stadium somewhere in that process, I wanted my skin to be the best at that time that I could allow it to be. I actually like to air dry with my hands. <laughs> okay, um, first off, everyone knows that I don't really enjoy eye masks because, well, they are unnecessary plastic and they are not very good for the environment. And um, if you just want to use them for hydration purposes, you can use your moisturizer or if you are really keen on using an eye cream, an eye cream, um, because you can use it multiple times and they're not a single use product. But, um, that aside, the fact that she used a cleanser afterward just completely defied the whole purpose of that eye mask. You know how you put on serums to like hydrate your skin and even though they say that it absorbs after maybe like a few minutes, it still needs to be on your face the entire night for you to get the benefits of that serum. Um, it's the same thing with the eye mask. So it needs to stay, I mean at least the ingredients need to stay on your skin for you to get the full benefits. And considering that she washed it off quite literally, um, she's not going to get the hydration that she was looking for to be honest but um, moving on to the led masks led masks are actually proven to be very good for the skin specifically red light therapy as she said red light therapy is very good for anti-inflammatory purposes but it also promotes collagen production in your skin which is well as you know the main protein in your skin that causes the firmness and everyone needs it in order to have that youthful and firm skin look um so yeah i actually really enjoy led masks um but let's get into the face wash okay unfortunately uh, they have not listed the products in the description box so based on what she used uh, i'm trying to find it on the website okay dr barbara sturm cleanser the foaming cleanser 80 bucks for 150 milliliters of product a lot of money for just a cleanser a wash off product so to speak but let's get into the active ingredients Purslan extract, urea, and aloe vera. It also has glycerin. Okay, um, all of these ingredients are moisturizing. They help to maintain moisture in the skin. Um, it's overall a very gentle ingredient list as far as I can see here. And they all try to, they are all uh, hydrating ingredients but 
as I've said before, if you expect your cleanser to actually hydrate your skin, then you're just wasting money because in order for those ingredients to actually give you hydration, they need to stay on your skin more than 60 seconds. And considering that, well, cleansers are a wash off product and the max that they are going to stay on your skin is for like 60 seconds, you are not going to get those hydrating benefits. I'm not saying that these ingredients are bad or you shouldn't get a hydrating cleanser. I'm just saying that if you are getting it just for the purpose of hydrating your skin, then you're not going to get the benefits that you think you're getting from that product. You would benefit more from a serum that is hydrating for your skin. My next thing is Edom. I use about two. Actually, I'm going to use three pumps because I'm going to put it on my neck as well. I just put it on my ring finger and I apply that lightly under my eyes because that's a really important area. Whenever I'm pregnant, my skin gets really dark, which is cool because I look like I'm tanned at all times, but it my whole body changes color. Honestly, I think pregnancy is a beautiful thing and I love everything that happens to it. That's a lie. I don't love everything that happens to it. Who am I kidding? I can't be fake. I get through it and I know that everything goes back to normal at some point. La Roche Posay. I like it because it's small, I can travel with it. And obviously I just dot it under my eyes. My mom told me ages ago, always go up when you're scared. I've already told my daughter who's six. When you're washing your face, always go in an upwards motion. I love using this beauty stat. I don't know if you know it, but it's really cool. It's a great moisturizer. I'm gonna grab a little bit and just kind of massage it. I always do also a little massage when I put on my products just to keep inflammation out. If you're not taking out time to just do the simple things, which I know I honestly haven't had time to do a lot of stuff, but if I'm not doing that, then it's like I'm letting myself go and I need to like take time for myself. Let's move on to makeup. So I'm gonna start out with Where is the sunscreen? Um Okay, um where is the sunscreen? I mean, um even if she is using products for example, a um foundation that has sunscreen in it, it's not going to be enough to protect her skin. So, um where is the sunscreen? Where's the separate sunscreen that you should be applying before you apply your makeup? Um, th that's what's bothering me the most right now before even getting into the products. But um, yeah, the fact that there's no sunscreen, basically your entire routine is, well, not as effective as you want it to be. It's basically not effective at all because, well, if you're not wearing sunscreen, then the chances of getting spots and aging prematurely is higher and, oh my god, okay. Um, let's move on to the serum. I've actually never heard of that brand, so let's see if we can find it here. Okay. The brand is called Edom, from what they said. A cruelty-free brand for women of color. Okay, I like that. Okay, the serum is apparently, based on what I saw in the video, is the Milk Marvel Dark Spot Serum. Okay, um, $68? For 30 milliliters of product. Okay, not a big fan, but okay. Okay, let's meet the MVPs of this serum. Smart Melanin Targets, okay. Ethyl Ascorbic Acid and Isinamide, okay. Licorice Fruit, okay, very good. These all do help to... Um, brighten the skin but my main question is how high are they in the ingredients list the highest that i see these is actually niacinamide which is one two 
two, three, four. The fifth ingredient in this list, and if you don't know, the lower you go in an ingredient list, the lower concentration that specific ingredient has. And considering that the highest one in the list is niacinamide and the rest are pretty down on the list, I wouldn't say that the serum is very um, lightening, so to speak. Um, these ingredients need to be a little bit higher in order to actually get that lightening effect, but they're good ingredients overall. Oh, I see alcohol in this. Okay, even though the alcohol is very down on the ingredient list, the reason that, I, that it is bothering me right now is because she put it around her eyes. Typically, um, you should not be using brightening serums that are meant for your face under your eye area because, again, your eye area is more sensitive than the rest of your face and the skin on that area is much thinner than the rest of your body in total. So, um, you should not be putting just any product under there, especially if you have very sensitive eyes. I personally have very, very sensitive eyes and um, I can't really use every single product there. And you, you shouldn't be either because eye products should be a completely separate thing because, well, they are specifically made for that area. And using serums like this that have a brightening effect and have alcohol in it, which can actually cause more sensitivity, is not a good idea to use it on this area. Getting in separate eye cream, which she did, would be more beneficial. Um, overall, it does seem like a good product, but I don't know, maybe I am broke. Um, I think that you can get better products for cheap. Just saying. Okay, moving on to the La Roche Posay. Uh, 30 bucks. Ooh, for 20 milliliters. Okay, um, first off, I am not a big fan of eye creams. Everyone knows this. Unless it is meant to treat your under eye. For example, it has retinol in it or it has vitamin C in it that is specifically made to um, brighten your under eyes or even to help with aging and with wrinkles around your eyes. Other than that, if it's only meant to hydrate your skin, again, I think that you can benefit more from a gel consistency moisturizer, not a separate product for this. Okay, let's look at the ingredients of this. Key ingredients, niacinamide, shea butter, glycerin, and La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. These are all hydrating products, except for niacinamide. Niacinamide does have um, brightening purposes, but the rest of them are more hydrating products. And 30 bucks for niacinamide alone? Yeah, no. Again, I would prefer to use my gel moisturizer as my eye cream under my eyes. So not gonna pay 30 bucks for a 20 milliliter moisturizer. Mm, no. Okay, moving on to the actual moisturizer. I have also not heard of this brand, so let's see if we can find it online. Uh, from what she said, it's called, the brand is called Beauty Stat, and the product is their Peptide Wrinkle Relaxing Moisturizer. Okay, it has 1100 views, reviews, and it has a 4.4 stars. Very good. $72. Am I broke? I think I'm broke because these, the, <laughs> these prices are just making me feel very, very broke. Maybe I should stop doing reaction videos because it just makes me feel very broke. Okay. Getting into the ingredient list, uh, it has peptides, or okay, hexapeptides, glucosamine, okay, very good, glycerin, which I like, okay, okay, 
it is it also has caffeine but it is very low on the ingredient list the ingredient list is extremely long mm. okay uh when it comes to ingredient lists i'm not a very big fan of those that are really long because there's a lot going on in one product and having too many ingredients or too many actives at the same time can sometimes cause some sensitivity or even well um some skins can't really handle it and you might experience irritation so when it comes to products that have a very long ingredient list i personally try to avoid them because my skin does react easily sometimes to specific ingredients so um yeah i'm not a big fan again from this one but it works for her her skin can take it so it's working okay so overall if i'm going to rate this routine i will give it a 5 out of 10 mostly because she did not wear sunscreen afterwards and that is the most important step of your entire skincare routine like if you do not use sunscreen basically the rest of your skincare routine doesn't really matter what you do because you're not wearing sunscreen uh, on top of everything so um that is why i would rate it a 5 out of 10 also because well she used an eye mask and then washed it off because well you just washed the product off of your face entirely and that just does nothing for your skin unfortunately but um the products they're not bad products so to speak but again i think that you can get cheaper alternatives or you can just use another product specifically the eye cream you can use just a gel moisturizer and it does the same thing basically so um yeah overall not a big fan again mainly because of the lack of sunscreen i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below who you want me to react to next